Nintendo's first official Direct of 2019 left us with plenty of exciting announcements and trailers to boot, but it also left Switch gamers with the opportunity to download some new games and demos on the eShop instantly, and it may have even gotten me hyped for a game that I would have otherwise written off. Hey what's up YouTube, my name is Ryan Ramakrishnan, if you're new around here welcome to the channel. I generally post gaming content on a weekly basis, whether it is counting down the big games on the horizon or looking back at some of my favorites. I love games, and I hope that you will stick around for some more after this video if you do as well. Yesterday's Nintendo Direct was pretty good, wouldn't you say so? The presentation was short enough to not drag on, even in the more niche sections of highlights, and the Direct gave me many reasons to be excited for the future, namely the Summer, as it seems many of their first party titles and exclusives will be launching from June to August. But it also made me hit up the Nintendo eShop on my Switch right away. And while Final Fantasy IX is not my cup of tea, a Tetris Battle Royale just might be. But what really had me excited was the new demos. Yoshi games have never really been the most mind-blowing of the genre and of Nintendo's own pantheon of platforming and gaming icons. However, I do have some fond memories of games like Yoshi's Island DS. Having missed out on the Wii U era of some admittedly great first-party games, I never touched Yoshi's Woolly World, and I also chose to, for some reason, refrain from the 3DS port. But its spiritual successor, or sequel, I guess it doesn't really matter how you classify it, looks really good. Good enough that I'm willing to try it at least. And the results show that I am quite satisfied. I'm glad that I tried it. Yoshi's Crafted World is actually pretty fun, and the sheer joy that the game's style and tone bring to the table cannot be ignored. I was instantly in love with the art direction and the music that complemented it. The keyword here is cute. Captain Toad's treasure tracking escapade on the Switch and Kirby's friendly adventures himself are both cute platformers in their own right. But there is something about Yoshi. I don't know if it's the flutter and the sound he makes or just the physical appearance of the friendly dinosaur dragon creature as he sticks his long tongue out. Yoshi is just adorable and the game certainly seems to be as well. The visuals are stunning and quite unique. Nintendo has always been masters at making visually pleasing games that don't need to shoot for 4K realism like their competition. I found that the art style is great in this demo, and Yoshi's Crafted World, like I alluded to, has some pretty amazing music. It doesn't seem to be much more than one long delightful song based on what I could tell, but this instrumental that plays throughout the demo is always charming. The sweet tunes and the adorable designs of Yoshi, his dog friends called Poochie, and everything else in between make it, like I said, a true delight. And while that's certainly at first hand, makes this game ideal for a younger audience, don't be thinking it's not fun for adults as well. Yoshi's Crafted World is a platformer, and fans of the genre should not expect less than greatness when it comes to Nintendo. Based on my 20 or so minutes with this free demo, I can say that the publisher is done right again. It feels floaty but quite intentionally, and it feels easy but relaxing. I enjoyed making eggs out of Shy Guys, and shooting them at cardboard boxes and piranha plants alike. The gameplay's gimmick is how shooting the eggs can give access to coins, flowers, the collectibles of the levels, and some other secrets as well, presumably. You can easily miss these breakable objects, though. That is where the seemingly addictive challenge of 100%ing levels will come in this new Yoshi game. It is clear that gamers who enjoy collectathons and seeing the completion will get a blast out of this, but it is also very relaxing and I think that's good, though you'll have to expect and also accept that. The thing is Yoshi's Crafted World drops in March, but so does the frantic action game Devil May Cry 5, as does the brutal From Software title. 
Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. We'll also be getting to dive into the bleak world of The Division 2 in the same month. What I'm getting at here is that amidst these challenging, serious, and intense experiences that I'm certainly going to be having on my PS4 and Xbox One alike, I'm actually really looking forward to, in between, sitting back and chilling out as I collect eggs and coins and listen to the charming music in Yoshi's Crafted World on my Switch. It definitely didn't blow me away, though I never really expected it to, but Yoshi's Crafted World's demo did give me a chill and fun time. For seeing and hearing Yoshi and the music and cute, unique art style of this platformer alone, I can say that I am surprisingly, genuinely excited for March 29th to dive into Yoshi's Crafted World. So those are my overall thoughts on Yoshi's Crafted World for now. This is of course my personal opinion on the game based on the playable demo available for free on the eShop. I was definitely satisfied with the gameplay. I think that will be a lot of fun and act as a nice delightful game to chill out and play, but one that simultaneously will manage to offer some engaging challenges and fun platforming along the way. But what do you guys think? Be sure to leave me your impressions on Yoshi's Crafted World if you play the demo. And hey, if you didn't download it, why not? What about this new platformer is steering you away? Definitely let me know all of your thoughts on Yoshi's Crafted World in the comments below. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video and if you're interested in seeing some more like it. I post gaming videos at least once a week and after this I will certainly have my impressions on Damon X Machina's demo up as well, so stay tuned for that. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you did enjoy your time here and I hope to see you all in the next video.